25 times the speed of sound. That's how fast SpaceX's Starship tears through the upper atmosphere, 17,500 miles per hour and about 90 miles above Earth. In the next 90 seconds, it must slow from Mach 25 to Mach 2 without coming apart. This isn't just re-entry, it's a precision fall through plasma and fire. At that speed, the heat shield glows above 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hotter than molten lava. Each square yard takes the energy of 30 suns. One failed tile could unzip the ship. The belly first entry angle, about 60 degrees, is critical. Too steep, it burns. Too shallow, it skips off the air like a stone. Between 90 and 45 miles up, Starship uses the atmosphere as a brake. Flying broadside maximizes drag, turning speed into heat instead of g-forces. Peak pressure slams to flaps with over 100,000 pounds of force each. Those flaps don't just steer, they radiate heat back into space. As speed drops to Mach 10, Starship rolls and banks, about 5 degrees per second, steering across hundreds of miles of cross range. Its lift-to-drag ratio hits 0.35, letting it actually fly through hypersonic air. The space shuttle managed just 0.25. At 15 miles altitude and Mach 5, the flip begins. Flaps deflect, thrusters fire, and the ship rotates vertical in 6 seconds. Then, a mile above the ocean, two raptors ignite, producing 450,000 pounds of thrust to stop the fall. Touchdown velocity, under 3 feet per second, softer than a Falcon 9 landing. From orbit to landing, Starship burns only 400 meters per second of propellant. The rest? Pure atmospheric braking. That's what makes it reusable. Not brute force, but aerodynamic precision. When this works flawlessly, rockets won't just launch and land. They'll fly through plasma at Mach 25 and return to fly again. If that gives you chills, hit subscribe, drop a like, and follow Rocketry for more real physics behind SpaceX's boldest missions.